Hey, Nick Brandreth, Historic Process Specialist at the George Eastman Museum, and today we're going to show you how to make your own dichroic solution. A dichroic material, or in this case a solution, blocks or reflects certain wavelengths of light and allows others to be transmitted. This was one of the first dye sensitizers ever used in photography. Remember that most photographic material starts out only sensitive to UV and blue light. It's with the addition of a special dye that we can make it sensitive to other wavelengths of light. To make the solution, we're gonna have to collect some ivy leaves. We're gonna soak this in alcohol to help extract the chlorophyll from the leaf. All right, here's everything we need to get started. First, you wanna go out and collect some leaves. In this case, we're gonna use ivy leaves, but any strong green leafy foliage will work great. Get yourself a pair of scissors, some cling wrap, a glass vessel, this is a flask, but if you don't have something like this, a mason jar will work fine, a mortar and pestle, strong alcohol, and a fun glass bottle to put our final dichroic solution into. First, we need to go ahead and cut up our ivy leaves into our mortar and pestle. Next, thoroughly mash the cut up leaves. With your leaves all mushed up, go ahead, clean them out, and put them into your jar. Once your leaves are in your jar, go ahead and add your alcohol. We're gonna cover this with some cling wrap to prevent evaporation, and then we'll let it sit overnight. Now that the solution has sat overnight, we can pour it into our jar, and we're ready to see the magic happen. When struck with a strong light source, our solution reflects red light, but allows green light to be transmitted. If your solution starts out a little dark, just dilute it with some extra alcohol and it will lighten up. Follow these simple steps, make your own dichroic solution, and impress your friends with science.